Hey, how are you doing? My name is Shui. In this video, I want to talk about this new app called Amplonode that I've been trying out for a few weeks. Now, I know there is already a bunch of note-taking apps like Roam and Remnote and Obsidian, but I think each tool has its own unique strength. For example, Roam might be great for synthesizing new ideas, and Remnote is great for studying and memorizing, and Obsidian has such a beautiful design, graph, and privacy. And Amplonote has its own unique strength as well, that is, it's extremely good at turning ideas into action. If you're looking for an app that you can use for capturing and refining ideas with very advanced task management system, I think you will love Amplonode. The philosophy of Amplonode can be explained by this concept of the idea execution funnel. It says there are four stages in idea execution, create and capture, refine, make actionable, and schedule. People often struggle shuttling ideas between apps as those ideas evolve from rough concepts into more concrete, actionable to-do items. For example, many people use apps like Google Keep, Draft, Roam's Daily Notes to capture ideas, and then apps like Evernote, Notion, and Roam for refining and organizing ideas, then making it actionable using apps like Todoist and Things, and finally, they use apps like um, Outlook and Google Calendar to schedule it. I think the strength of Amplonode is that you can do this whole process of turning ideas into action within the app seamlessly instead of having to do it across multiple apps. This means you don't have to have your time and the ideas scattered across different places. Because when you use multiple apps, you tend to lose track of some ideas and eventually you forget they even existed in the first place, which is such a waste. Anyway, let's now have a closer look at how Amplonode does this. In Amplonode, there are four different modes, Notes mode, Jots mode, Tasks mode, and Calendar mode. Let's begin from the Notes mode. This is very similar to what you see on traditional note-taking apps like Evernote and OneNote, but there are several unique functions in Amplonode. One of the biggest strengths of Amplonode is this feature called Rich Footnote. You can highlight any text and add a footnote. That includes a simple text, video, tweet, picture, and even Google Sheet. You can use this feature for many purposes. For example, I often use it when I'm planning a new video and making a list of resources. Also, it's very useful when you're working with other people and want to give them feedback or instructions. Instead of writing a bunch of words, it's much easier to just paste a screenshot or video to communicate. If writing an essay is like growing a tree, rich footnotes are the branches where you can dangle contextually useful details in case readers want to follow the side topics into their depths. Personally, I really like this feature because it allows you to keep your writing as simple and concise as possible. Like many popular note-taking apps, Amplonote also supports bi-directional linking. You can use square brackets to create a link to another page. If you want to make a link to a specific part of a page, you can use hashtag to do that. For example, if you want to link specifically to this block in this page, you can type the name of the page, followed by a hashtag and the heading name. This will create a link to that block. If you go to the bottom of a page, you see the list of backlinks, including both linked and unlinked references. And you can use a filter to find backlinks in a specific context if you need to. Another strength of Amplonode is task. Many note-taking apps already support tasks, but none of them does it better than Amplonode. In any note, you can quickly create a task and customize it. For instance, you can change how often you want it to repeat, add a due date and a reminder. You can also hide the task if it's not something you can do for a while. And you can set the priority of the task as well as duration. Of course, you can do this all with shortcuts. If you want to make the task important, you can hit Ctrl I on Mac. If it's urgent, hit Ctrl U. These optional details are used to help Amplonode automatically sort your tasks for you, which is one of the coolest features of the app. But I discussed that in detail just in a minute. Finally, if you want to move the task to a different note, you can type exclamation mark, move, and the name of the note you want it to move to. You might have noticed that Amplonode doesn't have folders like in Evernote and OneNote. Instead, notes are organized with tags. 
and each tag is organized hierarchically. For example, I have a tag called Projects, which contains specific project tags like Twitter, YouTube, and website. If I click YouTube, it shows every note about my YouTube project. So if I want to plan a new video, I can make a new page and add a hierarchical tag Projects slash YouTube, so it will show up in the list. Lastly, something I really like about Ample Note is how easy it is to share your notes with other people. Let's say I want to share this note about my office renovation. I could simply hit publish note and share the link to my friends. I think this is really useful when you want to work on a project with your team or with your friends. Let's now move on to the jot mode. Jot mode is similar to the daily notes in Rome and RemNote. This is where you can capture ideas, which is the first step in the idea execution funnel. Whenever you get a new idea, you can open the daily jot and write it down. It's like a scratch pad where you can write down anything without having to think about categories or organizing. But if you want to add tags to your ideas, you can use shortcuts. For example, I often get many ideas for my YouTube channel. So I can choose a project slash YouTube shortcut to add the tag to my new video ideas. Also, when you found articles or website you like, you can use the mail to note function to save them to Amplenote. If you're on your laptop, you can share an article using email to save it to Amplenote. If you're on your phone, you can use the iOS shortcuts to save anything. Simply tap one of these share options such as add it to tomorrow, add it to today, and create a new note. Then the items you saved will appear in the note you chose. Let's now talk about tasks mode. This function is one of the strengths of Ampernode and what makes it different from other note taking apps. When you click on the tasks mode, it will show you the list of every task you made across different notes. So it's kind of a master task list. What I really like about this feature is the order of the items in this list. It always shows the most important tasks at the top. Ampernode does this by computing something called task score based on the algorithm. For example, if a task is due today, it will increase the task score significantly. Similarly, if a task is marked as urgent, it will bump up the task score. I find this incredibly useful because whenever I open the tasks mode, it will show me which tasks I should be working on right now. In other words, Amplenote automatically does task prioritization and all you have to do is just start working on the tasks from the top of the list. Another feature I really like is hiding tasks. As you use Amplenote daily, you will soon have a long list of to-dos, which can get overwhelming and distracting. So what I like to do is to hide the tasks that are not relevant right now for a while. This allows you to clear up your list and see the only tasks that you're going to work on today. Finally, I want to talk about the shortcuts. You can use them to filter your tasks. For example, if you click due this week, you can see the only tasks that are due this week. Similarly, you can use the tags to filter as well. So if I want to see the tasks that are relevant to my YouTube channel, I can click on project and then YouTube. If this is a filter you use often, you can add it to the shortcuts by clicking the star. Lastly, I want to talk about the calendar mode. It's for the last step of the idea execution where you can schedule the tasks you made in your calendar. This feature is set to be released in the first quarter of 2021. I'm really excited for this feature since it will allow you to do time blocking easily. So this is the overview of how Amplenote works on the web, but it also has a mobile app on Android and iPhone. On mobile, you can do pretty much everything you can do on the web version of the app. For example, you can switch between the jot mode, notes mode, and tasks mode. You can also create bi-directional links and rich footnotes. But my most favorite use of the mobile app is the quick to-do. Whenever you get a new task or a new idea, you can open the app and write it down quickly, which I think is the most important element in mobile apps. Before we move on to the next section, I want to briefly talk about privacy. Amplenoid does it really well in this aspect. For instance, you can enable two-factor authentication, password protect your notes, and the employees cannot access the content of your notes. I think Amplenoid is one of the most secure and privacy-oriented note-taking apps. Now, I want to show you a general workflow of idea execution funnel in Amplenoid. As I said earlier, the first step is to capture ideas. 
What I usually do is that I open the daily jot whenever I get a new idea and write it down. The next step is to refine the ideas you captured. Once you have vague ideas, you want to develop them into something more clear and actionable. So let's have a look at the task list. You can see every task and idea you made even in the jot mode. And if I choose a shortcut for YouTube, for example, it will show me the tasks and ideas only related to my YouTube. So let's work on one of the ideas to develop it into more concrete ideas. This is when you use the notes mode, you can create a new page for the idea and assign some tags. For example, this is an idea about YouTube videos, so let's tag it with project slash YouTube. Then I can do a brainstorming and develop the idea more. When you're done with brainstorming, it becomes clear what you need to do to move the project. So what I need to do is to make a list of tasks. In this case, I know I have to do some research to make this video. This is a good time to mark tasks as urgent or important and estimate the task duration. Doing this will help entrepreneurs to sort your tasks according to their priority. Then I make a rough publishing schedule. As you can see, each task is color-coded according to its priority. Now all you have to do is start working on them from the top of the list. Of course, there are many other ways to use Ampunote. One of my favorites is journaling. I really like to do morning pages, which was introduced by Julia Cameron. The idea is that you take about 15 to 20 minutes every morning to write anything that comes up in your mind. While journaling, I feel my head getting less cluttered and I often come up with new ideas. Sometimes I come up with a new video idea, in which case I can type square brackets, tilde and uh, video name. This creates a new page under the current tag, which is project slash YouTube. It allows you to see the flow of your old YouTube ideas in this page. Another interesting way of using Ampunote is to use it as your personal CRM. In case you are not familiar with it, a personal CRM is a relationship management tool for your business and your personal life. It's really useful to maintain and expand your social network. For example, in my Ampunote, I have a tag called People, which contains more tags such as writers, YouTubers, Twitter friends and high school friends. If I click YouTubers, it will show me the list of my favorite YouTubers. If I click on high school friends, it will show me the list of my high school friends. Also, I have this tag called to connect, in which I have a list of people I want to connect with. About once a week a month, I visit this list and try to reach out to one of them. I think this is a great way to expand your network. Anyway, what I like to do to maintain relationships with people is to add a task which I use as a reminder to get in touch with them regularly to have a catch up, which I think is really helpful. Alternatively, you can use something called future jot as a reminder. So let's say I want to have a catch up with my friend in two weeks. What I can do is to create a future jot by typing in two weeks. This will create a jot under the current tag and it will show up in two weeks time. Finally, I want to show you how I would take notes in Ampunote using Zero Custom method. If you never heard of Zero Custom, it's one of the most effective note taking methods in my opinion. You can check out my video about it if you're interested. In my method, there are four steps. Make highlights, connect ideas together using bi-directional links, take literature notes, and make evergreen notes. So let's say I'm reading this article and want to take notes of it. The first step is to make some highlights to filter out noise from signals. For that, I always use this Chrome extension called Eloquent Quick Capture. When you hit the extension button at the top, this memo pad appears on your screen. Then hit the highlighter icon at the bottom to turn on the highlighter mode. Now you just have to highlight the parts of the article you like. Once you're done, you can simply copy the whole highlights and paste them in a page in Ampunote. In this step, I always format as quote or italicize it so I know these are something that other people wrote, not me. Also, I usually assign a tag called zero custom slash resonance slash article, which lets me keep the information I consumed organized. 
After tagging I skimmed through the highlights and the town important keywords and concepts into bi-directional links to connect ideas together. You can turn any keyword into a page by using control square bracket. Next, it's time to take a literature note. Just go through the highlights. If you find something interesting, write a few sentences about what you thought. For that, I usually use a rich footnote function. Highlight a sentence you like, hit Ctrl+K K to add a footnote. Then write your thoughts and comment in the footnote. Finally, last step is to make evergreen notes. Look at all the literature notes you made. If you think some of them can be useful for your thinking or writing later, you can turn the literature notes into evergreen notes. Open the footnotes you made and create a new page using square brackets. In the new page, add a tag called evergreens so you can add it to the list of evergreen notes. Then you can write about the idea with more details. Okay, so that's how to take notes in Ampunode. But to be honest, I felt a little constrained to do zero casting in Ampunode because it doesn't have uh, features like the sidebar and the block referencing like in Rome, which I think are very important. Still, Ampunode offers a range of great, unique features that other note-taking apps don't have, such as the rich footnote and the advanced task management system. And they're working to add even more features that users voted, which you can see in this uh, feature leaderboard. If you're looking for an app that you can use not just for capturing and refining ideas, but also for managing your tasks and the schedule efficiently, I think you will love Ampunode. If you want to try it, you can download it for free from the link in the description. It's available for web, Android, and iPhone. Also, if you're using other note-taking apps like Rome and Evernote, you can easily import your notes into Ampunode so you can see if you like it. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.